So here we go, folks. It's getting to the nitty-gritty stages over in the Europa League. But the games just keep on coming. I've got round three in the qualifying coming at you next. <laughs> That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction video. This time we're taking a look at the third qualifying round of the 2019-2020 Europa League. First legs, boys and girls. Okay, we'll get to that in just one second. Well, if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe. You bang up to date with all things Europa League related, Black and Rose related. Whoa, football related. We've got it all here. That's right, folks. Now, before we take a look at the third qualifying round, first leg, we're going to take a look at second qualifying round, second leg as well. So let's get cracking because there's so many games here. Okay, folks, let's get cracking and take a look at first look at those results of the second legs and give you the aggregate scores as well. So the Lincoln Red Imps up against Arabat Armina. This is where the uh, Joe Bolton side crash out. 2-1 uh, uh, the second leg. Actually called a 2-0 victory. For Arabat Damina. So the Liga Red Imps crash out 4 1 on Agra. Doulange took on Shikendra 79. 1 1 draw. Uh, in the end, on the, after 90 minutes, 2 1 for me. Uh, 3 2 on Agra. Doulange go through. Sadova took on Trey Penne. Pasta. Uh, 5 0 victory for Sadova. I actually went with a 4 0 win. So 10 0 on Agra. Sadova looking the piece. Uh, Farron Kiali took on Slovan Bratislava. 2 0 for me on the day. 2 0 it was. Got the one bang on the nose. 4 1 victory for Bratislava in the end. Astania took on Santa Coloma. 4-1 victory for Astania. 3-0 uh, for me. 4-1 on Agra. Astana go through. Linfield took on Tushavin and they edged it. 1-0 win on the day. 2-0 for me. 3-2 uh, on Agra. Linfield edged themselves through to the next round. Lipaja took on Nord Copping. Uh, I went with a 1-0 uh, victory for Nord Copping on the day. I went with a 2-1 victory for them. 3-0 on aggregate. They'll go through. Storm Graz took on Hagasund. 2-1 uh, was the final score. I went with a 3-0 victory. Uh, but Storm Gratz go out. 3-2 on Agri Hagerson's go through. Broad on B took on Lesha Gdansk. 4-1 victory for the Danes. 3-1 uh, for me. 5-3 on Agri Broad on B go through. Malmo took on Domzale. 3-2 uh, victory in the second leg. 2-0 for me. 5-4 uh, on Agri Malmo edge it. Only just. Kaliat took on Habal Bereshava. 1-1 uh, draw on the day. I went with a 2-2 draw. That's hard to call draws, you know. 3-1 uh, in the end for Barashava. The Israelis go through. Les Visky. Sophia took, took on AK Larnaca. And they actually barnstormed them 4-0 in the end. I went with the other way. 2-0 win for Sophia. So, uh, out they go. Larnaca go through. AK Larnaca comfortably 7-0 in the end. Vaduz took on Molvidi. 2-0 uh, on the day. I actually went 2-0 the other way. Um, but Vaduz go through. 2-1 on, on in aggregate. And Krakici Stankon took on Molde FK. 3-1 on the day. I actually went with the other, the other, the opposing team. Um, but Molde go through. 3-1 on aggregate after edging the first leg or second leg. Uh, Debrecen took on Torino. 4-1 victory for the Serie A outfit. 2-1 for me. 7-1 on aggregate. Easy peasy for them. Nefki PFK took on Arsenal. Uh, but Nefki go through. 3-0 on the day. 2-0 for me. 4-0 on aggregate. Copignon took on Legia Warsaw from Poland. 0-0 on the day. I actually went with a 1-1 draw. 1-0 uh, uh, on aggregate. Legia Warsaw edge it. Dynamo Tbilisi have been scoring goals for fun in the qualifying station. Took on Kabala. And they continued with their goal scoring ways. 3-0 uh, on the day. 3-0 for me. 5-0 on aggregate to Blishy go through. Aberdeen took on Shakur Sakieri. 5-0. They put on a barnstorming performance. I usually went with a 1-0 win. 6-1 uh, on aggregate. Aberdeen go through as well. Stars. Took on Espanyol. 3-1 victory for uh, La Liga outfit. 2-0 for me. 7-1 on aggregate. Not too shabby. Kia Klaschwitz took on Luzerne. 1-0 uh, uh, for the final score. And the second leg, 3-0 for me. 2-0 on aggregate. Lejeune go through. Utrecht took on Morstar. 2-1 victory for Morstar. I went the other way. 3-1 for Utrecht. And Morstar go through. Utrecht go out. Uh, Olympiana. Lubjlana took on Malan Spor. 1-0 was a fun score for Malan Spor. I actually went the other way. 2-1 victory for Lubjlana. Uh, Malan Spor go through. 3-2 on aggregate. Amatros took on DAC Donashke Stranda. 3-2 victory for Amatros. 2-0 uh, for them as well for me. 5-2 on aggregate. Amatros. But the boys go out. Uh, Jablanek took on Payanek. 0-0 uh, on the day. Actually, I remember the 2-0 with Jablanek. 2-1 uh, it was for Payanek on aggregate. They'll go through. Progress. Niederhorn took on Rangers. 0-0 uh, final score. Second leg. I actually remember the 2-2 draw. 2-0 uh, on aggregate. Rangers go through. Eintracht Frankfurt coming out of the Bundesliga. Took on Flora. 2-1 final score on the second leg. 3-0 for me. 4-2 on aggregate. They'll go through. Zora Lugansk took on Budgnosti Yeah. 1-0 uh, victory for Zora Lugansk. I actually went with a 2-1 myself. 4-1 uh, in the end. 
uh, on aggregate. Uh, we're getting there. Gozo United took on Vent Spills. That was a 2-2 draw on the day. I actually went with a 3-1 victory for Vent Spills. But they go through anyway. 6-2 on aggregate. Maccabi Tel Aviv took on Strasbourg. It was a 2-1 victory for Maccabi Hafi uh, on the first, uh, the second leg. I actually went with a 1-1 draw, so I got that one wrong. Uh, but Strasbourg edge it. 4-3 on aggregate. Crusaders took on Wolves. 4-1, second leg. 2-0 for me. 6-1 on aggregate. They go through. Audubasse took on Malin Vada Boloshev. 3-2 in the second leg. Actually, remember the 2-1 win for Audubasse. Uh, Malada Boloshev will go through. 4-3 on Agrit. Apollon Limassol took on Shamrock Rovers. And the Cypriot team edge at 3-1 uh, on the second leg. 1-1 for me. 4-3 on Agrit. Just enough over there. Over the line they go. Victoria Gumares coming out of Portugal up against Yunus Esch. 4-0 victory for the Portuguese. 3-1 for me. 5-0 on Agrit. They're into the hat for the next round. Universa take Clayova. Took on Budapest Honved. 0-0 draw on the day. 2-1 for me for Clayova. But uh, they'll edge it anyway. On, a, on penalties, it looks like, uh, for Clayova. Stuyo Bucharest took on Alashket. 3-2 victory for Alashket on the day. I actually went with a 4-0 win for Stuyo Bucharest. 5-3 they go through anyway. So a little bit of a slip up at the edge. It. Eschberg took on Shaka Shologosk. 0-0 uh, on the day. I actually went with a 2-2 draw myself. But Shakhtar Sologorsk will go through uh, with a 2-0 victory uh, on aggregate. Tanava took on Lokomotiv Ploldiv. 3-1 victory for Tanava. 2-1 uh, for me. 3-3 three, three on aggregate. But Lokomotiv Ploldiv will go through with the away goals. Partizan uh, took on uh, Connors Quays FC. And this is where their journey ends. 3-0 victory for Partizan. I went with a 3-1 victory. 4-0 on aggregate. Quite convincingly in the end. FC Sheriff took on uh, FK Partizani. 1-1 uh, draw on the day. I actually went with a 3-1 win for Sheriff. But they go through anyway. 2-1 on Agat. NK Olga Shirk took on CSK Sofia. 1-0 uh, victory for Oshkirk. I went with a 3-2 victory. 1-1 uh, draw after the two legs. Uh, CSK Sofia will go through. And Riga took on Piest Klerici. 2-1 win for Riga. 2-2 for me. 4-4 on aggregate. Riga go through. The Polish go out. Uh, last four here. AL Limassol took on Aris Solenki. And 1-0 victories for Solenki on the day. I went the other way with a 1-0 victory. And that was good enough to get themselves through to the next stage. Beat Iki Haken took on AZ Alkmaar. 3 3-0 victory for the Dutch. I went with a 2-1 win for Harkin, but the Dutchies go through 3-0 overall. Victoria Constana took on KAA Genk. 2-1 uh, victory for Victoria Constana. 2-2 two -two for me. 7-5 uh, on aggregate. Genk go through, though, uh, after a convincing win in the first leg. And wrapping it up, PFC Ludogorets Razgrad took on Valor Rekjevic. 4-0 victory for Razgrad. 3-1 uh, for me. 5-1 on aggregate. Piece of piss. Next round we go. Here we go, folks, with the illustrious third qualifying phase in the first legs. Now, these games will take place over the 6th, 7th and 8th of August, with the second legs taking place on the 13th, 14th and 15th of August as well. And again, there is uh, a whole host, of, whole host of games. Let's get cracking and take a little look, shall we? Uh, Arabat Armina taking on Sabutalo. Uh, this one, I'm going to go with a 2-1 victory for Arabat Armina to give themselves the edge in the first leg. Dundalk go to Slavan Bratislava in the first leg. 2-0 uh, win for Bratislava, though. I don't see Dundalk getting past this stage, if I'm completely honest with you. Ludo Gretz will take on the New Saints coming out of Wales. 3-0 uh, win for Ludo Gretz. They've been there, seen that, and done it. The Bulgarian team should have enough in the tank. See this case, Sofia up against Zora Logansk. Uh, again, going to go with Sofia on this one. 2-1 one win in the first leg. But the away goal for Zora will give them the air. Give a chance to get themselves in the second leg. Sukestia will take on Linfield coming out of Northern Ireland. Um, unfortunately, again, the, I think some of these British teams will struggle. Uh, Sukestia 2-0 on the first leg. Riga will take on HAK Helsinki coming in out of the, uh, the Champions League qualifying, I believe. Uh, but anyway, Riga will come out top 2-1 win. Over Helsinki in the first leg. But the second leg will give it uh, what for with that illustrious way. Or FK Astania will take on Valletta coming out of Malta. And Astania will take the lead as well. 2-0 in the first leg to make this a bit of a struggle for the Maltese team. Sheriff will take an AIK Selena. 0-0 draw on the, on the day for me. Can't really separate the two sides. Uh, we'll have to wait and see to the second leg. Uh, North Copy will take on Hapel Belshava. Difficult one to call this one. Going to go with the Scandinavians on this one with a 2-0 win uh, in the first leg to set them up nicely going into the second second showdown. Broad on B will take on Sporta Braga coming out of Portugal. Again, some more difficult teams coming into this one. Braga 8-0 no, uh, knockabouts. 2-1 win for the Portuguese team uh, for me. Uh, Puyanek will take on Wolves uh, and I think Wolves will edge this one. Uh, Puyanek, I'm not even sure where they're from. 
uh, Azerbaijan, perhaps Armenia. Um, and yeah, I, th I think Wolves should have enough in the tank to beat them. Hagasund will take on PSV Eindhoven. Now, this is quite surprising to see PSV at this stage, but they'll they'll take a bit, uh, take some doing to, to knock them out. Um, but this one, I think they'll take a quite a convincing first leg lead. 3-1 um, going into the second leg. Torino will take on Shakhtar Sologorsk. Obviously, Torino coming out of Syria are uh, difficult opposition uh, them, and they're, they're well equipped to go deep, deep, deep into this competition. Molder, that's one of the 3 no win there. Molder take on ARS Salanaki. 2-1 uh, win for Molder for me. Uh, coming out of Norway, uh, ARS. Uh, they, they'll give them a game in the second leg when they bring it back around to Greece. Uh, FC Meichetland coming up against Rangers. Meichetland also, uh, they're coming out of uh, Denmark. Difficult one to call this one. I'm going with a 1-1 draw. I still think Rangers have enough when they bring it back to Ibrox in the second leg. But that way goal could be massive. Uh, Rejeka up against Aberdeen. Now, Aberdeen scoring bucket loads of goals in the last round. Uh, difficult one this one coming into this uh, away from home. But I still think they'll, they'll take home a victory. 2-1 in the end up against Rejeka. I'm trying to find out what what country they're in um croatia so uh, yeah, they're not i don't think they're the 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 bigger the bigger giants coming out of croatia but they'll still give them a game uh, but i think aberdeen are they, they look switched on a little bit for this a uh, locomotive pole div taking on strasbourg coming out of uh Liga 1. um difficult one but i am going to go with the french team here two nil win within an away win an important away win and that'll set them up nicely for round or second leg. Matapol will take on AZ Alkmaar. Um, again, the Dutchies hanging on tight in this one up against the Ukrainians. 3-2 uh, this one. Goals galore. Five in it. We'll have to wait and see, though. See if it works out. Ventus Spills will take on Victoria Gramares. The Portuguese bad boys. Up against Ventus Spills coming out of Lif Latvia. Uh, so, yeah, I, I still think uh, Garamara should have enough in the first leg. Austria Vin up against Alpon and Limassol. 2 0 win for me over the uh, Austrians. Uh, AAK Larnaca will take on Genk. Going to go with a 2 1 win on that one as well. Vados up against the Bundesliga Bad Boys. Eintracht Frankfurt. You can't see, can't see past them at the moment. 2 0 win. They should realistically be in the Champions League, I think, Frankfurt. Uh, Final will take on Diana Tbilisi. scoring goals for fun. But I think they're up against some real uh, opposition this time out. And I think the Dutchies will take it uh, long term on this one. Uh, Stoy Bucharest. We'll take on, on Malada Bolshev. I'm going to go with Bucharest on this one with a 2 to win. Uh, in the first leg. Uh, meanwhile, Legia Warsaw coming out of the Champions League phases into this round. I guess on Makromatus. Uh, I'm going to go with the Polish on this one with a 3 1 win in the first leg. Partizan will take on Yenin Yet Malat Spor. Again, difficult one, Turkey. But if this game was in Turkey, I'd, I expect the Turk uh, Malat Spor to pick up the victory. But Partizan will take a comfortable 2 0 lead into that second round. Malmo up against Zrinski Molsmar. Going to go with a 0 0 draw on this one. Not too sure if the Swedes can handle this. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, though. Nifki up against Benny Yundi Tel Aviv. Uh, these boys are new to me. I don't know too much about them. Uh, must be uh, been introduced as a as a more. Uh, they must have finished higher up the rankings over in Israel. Um, so I'm actually going to go with a two-one win for them at this stage. Luzerne will take on Espanyol. Luzerne. Coming out of uh, Switzerland up against Espanyol. Difficult one this one, but I'm going to go with the, the, the La Liga side. 3-1 victory in the end. Sparta Prague up against Trabzonspor. And again, if this game was flipped around over in Turkey, I would go with Trabzonspor. But I'm going to go with a 2-2 draw in the end. Uh, very difficult one to call. Uh, Universitet Craiova up against AAK. I'm uh, going to go with the Greeks here. 2-1 victory in the first leg to make it a very interesting second leg when it comes back around on the 15th or so. Uh, meanwhile, we've got, we've got uh, FC Thun up against Spartak Moskava. 2-0 uh, win. Is that Spartak Moscow or is it... Uh, uh, it is Spartak Moscow. Obviously, the, pronoun the, the spelling is... Uh, native to Moscow, maybe. Uh, two to win for them on the first leg. Uh, and it looks like job done for them. Uh, meanwhile, Makavi, Tel Aviv will take on the Sudova. I'm uh, going to go with the Israelis on this one. 2 1 victory. Uh, they've been looking the part so far in the qualifying. We'll have to wait and see. Royal Antwerp up against Victoria Pinson. Uh, I'm not too sure about these Belgians, so I'm going to go with a 1 1 draw uh, to see how well they get on. Sarajevo will take on BAT Borisov. Uh, I've been backing BAT Borisov from the get go, but I think they're going to slip it up here. Up against Sar Sarajevo. And Dudelange will take on Nomaj Kauju. Obviously, they got their asses handed to them by Celtic in the Euro Champions League uh, and I'll get them asses handed by the Luxembourgs uh, this time around and that my friends will wrap up the third qualifying round first leg over at the Europa League um, I'll be back again for the second legs uh, probably around about the 9th or 10th of August so stick around for that bad boy um, yeah if you want to join my fantasy football league it is now live free to enter cash prizes every month and a grand prize get stuck into it well I'll do update videos right here on the channel so make sure you check that puppy out
out. If you want to check out some live predictions, I'll be doing live predictions for the Champions League, the Premier League, and the Championship from the month of September onwards. But up until then, I'll be do pre-recorded just like this one right here right now. Uh, so, yeah, there is the, the link just in case if you want more from me prediction-wise. Uh, become a Patreon member and you can get access to some more content. Uh, and there is the link to become a Patreon. If you want other information, there is a link down in the old description. You can click on it, head over to the website, and check it all out for yourselves. So, yeah, looking for some additional support for the channel to kind of kick us forward to another level, boys and girls. But, yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, always a lot to cover in these knockout stages. And hopefully, once we get to the group stages, it'll be a little bit more palatable because there's just so many. And, I, you know, if you... I, realistically, do I know my asses from my Ventus spills? No, I don't. I don't. So, it's, it's difficult. Um, I am... You know, there's now as the bigger boys are getting into it, the, the Eindhoven's, the uh, the uh, the AZ Alkmaar's, not even them really, but um, you know, like the the who was it, Braga from Portugal, um, some big boys are getting into Spartak Moscow. We can just kind of get uh, even Wolves to a point. Um, you, you start to kind of know which are the power powerful sides that should go through to the next stages. Um, but anyway, give me your thoughts and opinions in your comment section down below, and we'll be back again pretty soon with another video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. If you're new, smash the subscribe. New videos pretty much every single day. I'm going to get out of here. I've got a lot of my plates, a lot of big week ahead. Until then, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>